Yamasa Graph it has a long history and uh, Yamasa Graph is the biggest land force exercise in the Asia Pacific region. Not only can we uh, sh demonstrate our strong will to defend Japan, but also uh, we can contribute uh, to the peace and security of this region. This kind of exercise builds our readiness to be able to command and control our forces in a tactical situation. And then here, we get to do it in a combined way with our partners and allies. Having the Australian participate in this exercise for the first time after 10 years of observation is great for the entire combined force. Coming across here to Yamasakura, we get to train alongside divisions from uh, the US Army and also the Japanese Ground Self-Defense Force, uh, both bilaterally and in a trilateral environment. It is fantastic training. As for the interoperability, there are three categories. The first one is the interoperability of technology. In terms of that, we are sharing the information among the Australian Army, the US Army, and the Japanese Ground Defense Force. And the second category is the procedural interoperability. We need to match command and staff activity. How can we estimate the enemy's course of action? We need to make it coherent between our activities. The third category is the human interoperability. You can coordinate face to face. I think we're all committed to an open and prosperous uh, and stable Indo-Pacific region. And I think having the three nations of Japan, Australia and the United States here exercising together in this open uh, fashion, I think really builds trust in the region and our interoperability demonstrates that we're committed to the region.